Create the empty object. Add the analytic collider component to it and configure the chosen SDF type parameter. Then, configure its size and position. Repeat the process for the rest of the stairs. After that, add analytic colliders to the zebra liquid object. Launch the simulation and check how the colliders work. To create analytic colliders with force interaction, create a new empty object. Add the analytic collider, sphere collider, rigid body, and adjust the object size. Don't forget to turn the force interaction to enable the physics. Then, place an asset inside that object. Repeat the process with the other balls. Use a torus shape for the life buoy. Note that the analytic collider also allows you to use other shapes such as capsules and cylinders. After that, add a rigid body to the object where you installed the colliders. Configure the mass of your object in rigid body components. You also need to add a mesh collider component to the asset. Add colliders to the liquids colliders list. The final step, situate objects inside the pool and check how they interact with the liquid.